friends, I want to talk for a few minutes with the people of the United States about banking. With the comparatively few who understand the mechanics of banking, but more particularly with the overwhelming majority for whose banks for the making of deposits and the drawing of checks. Dang, this can't be right. Sounds more like an AP econ exam. Good evening, friends. Welcome to the annual Spring Instrumental Concert here at Watchung Hills. This evening, we bring you a varied selection of music for wind ensemble, orchestra, and concert band. A concert containing the familiar repertoire of each respected ensemble, and on occasion, some lighter fare. Before we start this evening, I would like to draw your attention to some of the wonderful accomplishments of our students in the music department. Shortly after the winter concert, many of our students auditioned for various Region 2 ensembles. As you can see from your program, several were accepted to either the symphonic band, the wind ensemble, or the orchestra. Additionally, those accepted to Region 2 ensembles auditioned for and were accepted to the Allstate Symphonic Band, wind ensemble, or orchestra. This year we saw a record number of students accepted to these groups. We should be proud of their accomplishments and in knowing that we are nurturing the musical endeavors of our students. I would be remiss, however, if we did not pay special attention to our very own Ethan Marmaleos for his accomplishments in participating in Region 2 in all state ensembles for all four years of high school. Ethan received the prestigious Governor's Award in the Arts Education on May 22nd down in Trenton. While we celebrate these accomplishments, we also thank and say goodbye to our seniors, those students who have spent the last four years to making music here at Watchung Hills, performing in the concert band, wind ensemble, orchestra, marching band, jazz band, and other assorted merry music making. We will miss these wonderful young adults. And in the words of Yeats, let us go forth, the tellers of tales, and seize whatever prey the young heart long for, and have no fear. Everything exists, everything is true, and the earth is only a little dust under our feet. Now for some music, yes? This evening we start with the wind ensemble, a deviation from standard programming, but you'll see why later. On the program tonight, Alfred reads Hounds of Springs a wonderful concert overture that hopefully will invoke those aspects of spring which we all appreciate after a very long and snow day ridden winter. In celebrating his 100th birthday, our second work of the evening will be Leonard Bernstein's Candide, his wonderful musical adaptation of the book by Voltaire. The musical also includes such wonderful tunes as Glitter Be Gay and Make Our Garden Grow. This evening we'll only be presenting two of the works uh, for you to enjoy. The Wind Ensemble's closing work of the evening is from infamous classical composer P.D. Kupak. This composer of obscurity has such works as the 1712 Overture, the Seasonings, a Cantata for Herbalists, and the Preventamento for Bagpipes, Bicycle, and Balloons. Besides being a composer, he is also known as the inventor of the short-lived trombone, a freakish instrument combining the worst aspects of both the trombone and the bassoon all in one. As a reminder, there will be no intermission, but pauses between each ensemble for resetting, at which time you can stretch. Oh, so now would be a great time to finish up on that game you've been playing on your phone while I've been talking. There's no need to record a thing tonight. Our wonderful PAC staff have got you covered. So, thank you for joining us, and enjoy this evening's performance.